Atmospheric rivers can play a major role in Canada's weather story, bringing intense rainfall all the way from the deep tropics to the northern shores. In fact, some of the more intense atmospheric rivers can bring hundreds of millimeters of rainfall, and that can cause flooding and wreak havoc on infrastructure. These features are always part of our atmosphere. They're just at their strongest during the fall and the winter when the temperature contrast is at its strongest between the balmy tropics and the frigid Arctic. Now, they form in both the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, and sometimes they happen simultaneously. The only difference is the elevation and the duration. The atmospheric river, a different beast in the British Columbia region. We get the source of subtropical moisture deep and west of the Hawaiian Islands, but the secret ingredient that makes these way more ominous, the mountainous terrain that raises the precipitation, enhances precipitation rates, and triggers landslides and mudslides. In terms of the East Coast, a way more precarious situation, a trough swings in from Ontario, Quebec, and that jet stream takes a minor detour, but the jet stream and the atmosphere does not like to behave this way. It'll take a shortcut if it can, and eventually that jet stream pushes that atmospheric river out of the way.